The extent of the current drought in Texas is the worst it's been in almost a decade, and reversing it won't be easy. 25 News reporter Caleb Savalier looks at how long this drought has been in the making and what to do about it. The recent rain and thunderstorms were a welcome sight, but it's going to take a lot more than that to erase the ongoing drought. With so much parched ground across the state, just about every crop this growing season will feel the effects. Drought has huge consequences across all levels of agriculture, cotton, um, corn, you know, any of our crops in the state of Texas are going to be negatively impacted by drought. In early March, data from the U.S. Drought Monitor showed that more than 89 percent of Texas was covered in moderate drought or worse, the most in nine years. The lack of rain, which has stretched several months, can be partially traced to climate patterns. A large contributor to that was La Nina. When we get a La Nina in the Pacific, it tends to be dry in Texas during the wintertime, but usually not this dry. Drought isn't a new challenge for Texas farmers and producers, and most of them have methods for making the most of a bad situation. They're very familiar with what to expect or how to anticipate or how to respond within their, their production systems um, to drought. Still, there's only so much that can be done to ease the dry conditions. Farmers are already having to deal with the high prices of seeds and fertilizer. If the drought causes further losses of crops, you can expect goods at the store to see another price hike. More inputs, greater cost to the farmer um, is going to, to come down to a greater cost to, to the consumer as well. If there's any good news, we're not too far from the most favorable time for rain on the calendar. Hopefully we'll get some rain during the wet periods of May and June. Those are climatologically the wettest months of the year. Um, and by that time, the effect of La Nina tends to wear off. Until then, we'll take all the rain we can get. With the first three months of 2022 now in the books, much of Central Texas and the Brazos Valley are running five to six inches of rain behind normal levels. Reporting in Waco, Caleb Chevalier.